Hello everyone, welcome to BeModel.com. In this video tutorial, we'll be discussing how to control the underlying flows. It's a kind of uh, referencing a tra transfer paper like this. Tracing paper you can use and uh, trace it. Similar to that, we have the underlay option in Revit. So there are two reasons we have to turn it on, turn it off. So one thing, it could be a disturbance. You can turn it off whenever you don't need it. The option is available in your property. You have to be in active view and the active view property will be shown in this place. If you don't want to show this underlying flow, which is the level one in this case, and if you don't want to show it in this place, you can go ahead and simply make it none option here. So you won't be able to see the other flows elements in this place. In that case, if you want to see it, you can turn it on back. So if you have n number of levels, it will be shown. And based on that reference, you will be able to take your walls and you can draw walls as you needed by using that flow reference. So this will be very uh, useful when you are drawing a typical floor plans in a higher levels based on the below levels, you will be able to turn it on the underlying levels by mentioning them. So these two options represents at, until what level you needed and at what orientation you did. Whether you want to see it downwards, whether you want to see it upwards. As simple it is. Once you have drawn it, you can turn off your reference and you can draw as you need it by based on your requirement. Like this. So thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe to be modeler and share it with your learning friends. We'll be keep sharing most important things.